Hello and welcome to the Genuine Learning Blog. My name is Melissa Galasso and today we're going to talk about a new TQA that was issued by the AICPA regarding other information. So this is coming as a result of several questions the AICPA has received regarding other information. SAS 137 uh, changed some of the performance requirements and some of the um, the areas uh, related to other information. So in SAS 137, they introduce an updated definition of an annual report. They also um, provide some requirements on what we have to do, whether, again, we're not going to opine on the other information, but we're going to make sure that it's not uh, factually misstated or inconsistent with the financial statements. And so as a result, if you get the OI, prior to dating the report, then you have a reporting requirement. But if you don't get it prior to it, there were several questions that came up about what do we do in terms of dating or reissuing this type of report. Uh, and so uh, the there's a nice little OI section of the report now uh, with certain key language in there. And so there have been questions that are coming into the AICPA about OI and how it applies uh, in various scenarios. And so they've answered three questions in this area. So this was issued in May of 2022. So question number one clarifies that if the OI is received after the date of the report, there is no reporting requirement. So um, if you've already issued re your report, then reporting doesn't apply. You still have the performance requirements and the documentation requirements, but you don't have a reporting requirement. So you're going to still check the OI, you're gonna read the OI, you're gonna talk to those charged with governance, you're going to keep the certain documentation that's required, but you don't have to do anything, the report's already been issued and the OI is now coming in afterwards. The next question says, okay, well, what if the client wants some kind of verbiage about their OI and it's afterwards, can we reissue the report? And so question number two clarifies that while the auditor is not required to reissue the report, they may reissue the report to include the additional section addressing OI if it came after the date of the original report. So in that scenario, we have the option, um, again, only if the client really would want this, um, to reissue the report to add that OI section because again, that OI wasn't available at the time of the original report date. Which brings up the question of, well, what is the timing for this? So what are we going to do in terms of the report date? Um, because again, if we're going to reissue the report, what are we having to do? And so we have two choices here uh, in terms of dating the report. First, you can always try dual dating the report. Keep the original date and then add, except for the OI section, uh, as of the new date, right? So we would have a dual dated report, always an option. Um, you can also use the reissued report date. So if you reissue it a couple of months later, you can put the whole report as of of that new date. However, you do have to update for subsequent events through that new date. So there are different options there, depending again on what the auditor would like to do. And so again, there is no reporting requirement, um, but if you choose to reissue, they provide some guidance on how to do that and how to date this. And so that is a wrap for this week's blog. Um, we are very excited. We'll be leaving this weekend to attend the AICPA Engage Conference in Las Vegas. Uh, we have lots of really exciting things happening there. We'll be having our first booth. Uh, so if you are in Vegas next week, please join us. Come visit our booth. We'd love to say hi to you in person. Um, we also will be hosting a reception for clients. And so um, let us know if you would like to attend that. Uh, we would be happy to see you there. Uh, and we'll also be doing a really exciting blog from there to talking a little bit about our surprise announcements while we're there. So we are excited to see you guys in Vegas. The next vlog will be taped out there. And so looking forward to seeing many of you in person. Otherwise, uh, until then, have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.